<coughs> and welcome back to landing page series PHP route front end in this section we are coming to do exactly something like this so without wasting much time let's just jump into it as you can see I haven't done is not yet on our design panel of course we are going to add a new section row but there is a way of um, making a page you know building something without having all these section row section row section row section row you can simply put them in a single page if you are good with custom code but that's not what we are coming to do you know for the sake of simplicity i will make everything transparent go to off h1 display of five bold We are adding padding on the y axis as in vertical, giving it a value of 5. In general, padding of 3. This is something we used to do always. The reason for the padding is to maintain a kind of uniform. You see, here we have the same padding. Here we have the same padding. So it, it, it will be advisable completely to maintain a uniform figures. So we are adding the same padding here. So having done that, we move to what we have next. You can simply add a new custom row here, or you can decide to add a new colon. It's it all tailed down to what you like or what you want to have. Okay, um, I will pause at this moment and explain something. I added deflex and I added justify content center. Um, what this guy does is, uh, let's use this guy. Uh, it will just bring this guy in this middle. I, I actually don't know how to, okay, let me, let me use code, 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 code 4 and I'll say um, BG BG danger Stop. Right. so I, I just want to show you what this guy does what this guy does I'm sorry for that couldn't see it style is there but we couldn't see it because there's no colors on it our BG should be danger 
You see, it is in the center. You get what I'm saying? It's just on the center of this. Without being normally, it should start from the left side. That's how HTML read. So, but because of this justify content center is in the center. But let me show you something. This thing is working because of this. Because it is in a flex display. If I take this guy off, this guy won't be able to justify its content, which is this, this is the content of this guy. This guy is the content of this um, class. So when we preview it, it couldn't. So we have to put it in a flex display in order to have this justify content to work. Deflex, deflex. And you may think, is this this flex that is working the thing? Yeah, it's this flex, but the flex can't just work, put things in center if you don't ask it to do. So when you take justify content center out, this is what we get. It's still like that. So you need two of them in order to get that effect. Okay. Control Z. Alright. We just put our image file here. Okay, we take this thing off. We put a V3 and IMG class. Yes, I'll see. We want to go to assets, go to images folder, look for a file called slide slider one the format is jpg give it a height of a height of 100 percent give it a width of 100 percent and you close it rounded we want the edges what is round is it is this is bootstrap class mind you all i'm using here is bootstrap I have not added any of my custom style here. This is bootstrap. So what this guy does is it makes the edge to be rounded. Kind of it curves it. Okay, preview it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You see this guy here isn't curved. But this guy inside is curved a bit. So it's because I added a rounded class to this image that gives it this curve. So, and you see, there is a space from this guy to this guy. It's because of the P3 we gave it. That's why you are seeing this red, this thing. But assuming we didn't give it a color. Assuming we didn't give it this BG danger. You won't even notice it. You will assume it as, you know, something normal. You get what I'm saying? Good. let's do the rest all we got to do is just duplicate these guys copy and paste of course v give it slide two give it slide three slide four i don't have slide five but i'll just put slide five there slide 5 and move on to slide 2 if we like all right so that is it do you notice something they are all in a flex row just keep didn't move down that's good i am sure you are not getting how powerful flex can be so to avoid that thing we put this thing in a row we just create a class here the class Co let's give it called cool 11 mm, cool 11 is not bad it's okay let's give it cool 11 and say row and put everything inside there Don't get confused at this point. I will, I will explain what just happened. I created a new uh, a new div class, with, and this is a role. Uh, inside the role, I placed the rest of the content inside it. So this guy, all this thing is inside this guy, and this guy is inside this guy. All right. So preview it. 
okay we get exactly what we want but, but there is no spacing we want it to be you know a bit space out what we need to do is to add the parent um, some spacing thing inside it Alright, so like I told you, I don't have slider 5. We just look for an image and replace it. What do you think? I will use slider 3. I will use slider 3. Alright, save and preview it in a bigger browser. Section 4, something about section 4, and that is it. Let's resize it and make sure everything is working perfect as we want it to be. So thank you guys for, for your time. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, which is section 5. The section 5, we are going to do something different because it's going to contain um, a BG profile actually. But I'm going to show you a different way of adding pictures as a background to a PHP route very very simple all you need to do is just to create a class with an image on it and just call the class anywhere you want to call it and the picture just take it with it thank you